Hello everyone and welcome to this Lightarama shopping tutorial. In this video, we'll talk about what CPC packages for pixel props are and how to add them to your cart so you make sure you have everything you need to run your show. Before watching this video, you should have read the page titled I'm new, what do I do? as it helps explain the different types of lights and the other components you'll need to control the show. If you've decided you want RGB lights, you'll visit the CPC page of the website, which stands for Coro, Pixels, and Controller, which represent the basic components included in each package. Every item in this collection has sequencing effects included in every RGB Plus sequence sold in the Lightarama store. You can also create your own sequences using any of the props on this page. We'll use one of the Mega Packs as an example to explain all of the different options and choices you can make when adding packages to your cart. Anything with a check mark is a default item. You cannot remove these products from the package. To learn more about what these components are or the dimensions of any of these props, scroll down to the description and look at the Included in this package section. Voltage selection is based on your location. If you're ordering in the United States, you do not need to change this dropdown. Each package allows you to also select optional extensions. Pixel extensions are special cords that go between your controller and each prop included in the package. They are not standard extension cords. You'll receive as many pixel extensions as there are ports on the included controller. For this mega pack specifically, you'd receive 16 extensions since a Pixie 16 comes with the package. To determine what length extensions you need, you'll need to do a little bit of mental planning for your display. If trees, arches, and pixel stakes will range from being 11 feet to 14 feet away from your controller, you should get 15 foot extensions so that you can fully cover those distances. This concept applies for all CPC packages, including rooflines and windows. Just measure how far away the start of each roofline segment or frame is going to be from your controller to determine what length extensions you should buy. The arches specifically have additional optional extensions so you can extend the distance between the props instead of putting them all in a row. If you want your eight arches to span more than 24 feet, you should add these extensions to your cart. Every package that includes a controller will also have an option to select a Cat5 cable. You'll need one Cat5 cable for every controller you have in your display since the controllers are daisy chained together in a row per network. The length you choose depends on how far away your controller will be from the next controller on that network. For example, if the controller for this mega pack is going to be 37 feet from your controller for your RGB snowflakes, which are both on network 2, you should select a 50 foot Cat5 cable. The last option is kit assembly. Options may vary based on the time of year and per package. The roof lines and window frame packages have an additional selection option for mounting trim. These optional strips can help you mount the pixels to your gutters, windows, or wherever else you're planning to attach the lights. This drop down allows you to select whether you want the standard and sturdy 4mm Coro or the bendable but harder plastic mounting strips. Each option will show you how far of a distance you can reach in total with the four segments and if you'll have to space your pixels 2, 3, or 4 inches apart to reach that length. Learn more about extending farther by reading the custom length roof section of this package. To understand how these packages work with RGB plus sequences, you should start by looking at the two pictures included with every package. One shows how the props connect with a computer as the command center, and the other shows a director. Each of these columns is equal to one Lightarama network. For a computer show, one USB 485 adapter runs one network. For a director, one port of the director runs one network. Directors have one, two, or four ports. If you would like to avoid making modifications to the sequences or moving props to other columns or networks, you should purchase one USB adapter per column for which you've purchased props if you plan to use a computer. Or you should buy an N4G4 director with four ports to give yourself room to grow. Specific details about how to connect the controller to its network and the unit IDs of the ports are listed in the RGB Plus Sequences tab of each product and are included as a sheet of physical directions when your package arrives. Once you've added as many CPC packages as you want to your cart, don't forget to return to the I'm New, What Do I Do page to learn about additional products you may want to add to your show.